Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but we've finally had the time to record the whole gym setup. Um, we're going to play some footage from the start to now, and we'll give you a full tour and hopefully be able to help everyone who's kind of trying to do their own thing with the lockdown restarting. And uh, yeah, let's go. So, little tour of where we're at now. First things first, as you open the garage gate, you've got the little like multi gym thing that we've got. Uh, we've been like really playing about with this to see like little things that you shouldn't really be doing that we've been doing on it. So, for example, like you can use it for like a standard handcuff. We've got the cut, uh, the handles for pull downs, single arm curls. And you've got a low row as well, so you can like do obviously bicep curls. And uh, like a low, low row, like single arms. We still need to get like a little mini stool, like just to sit on down here. But uh, there's like I'm just been looking on Facebook and Facebook and there's absolutely fuck all. So that's one thing we need to get. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, we've had a little, bought a little dumbbell rack that costs like 20 quid. Uh, when you get some dumbbells on it still. The only problem is, we're really struggling to find any dumbbells anywhere for like a decent price obviously. With this lockdown too, fucking malarkey going on, everything's like skyrocketed again. The biggest change so far is this beautiful combo rack that I've got now, red, white and blue colours. I got it from, there's a... Someone in the y &E division of British Palace, he's called David O'Brien. Find them on Facebook. He I'll put his link somewhere oh, right, if you can right. find it. He makes these racks in his spare time. Uh, literally, brilliant prices. Honestly, you can choose any colour scheme you want. And uh, obviously, we went for red, white, and blue, and it's unreal. You can use them for anything. Really, really good. Obviously, you can take out the bench to squat on them. And uh, you can take the safety out. You can, obviously, these are all, everything is the IPF spec, so. If you need like that precise training, if you're a bit of a like IPF freak, then you, everything needs to be perfect. This rack, honestly, for the price, it is an absolute bargain. So yeah, definitely shout David O'Brien out. He's fucking mint for getting this one for us. How much was it, roughly, so people have an idea? I think it was. It started off less. You can get them for like I think minimum they can be eight hundred pound, but like bits taken off. I, mine was gonna be 995, which is still a mid price for a combo rack. Car wasn't gonna have these added on, the uh, like to change the, the height. So it's 995 without these, I think, if I'm remembering right. And uh, I can't remember how much these were because Jules put these on without us knowing. Mm. Like she bought them extra. All right, so okay. I'm not sure how much extra, but yeah, it was a little bit over a thousand pounds, but yeah. For what it is, it's fucking definitely, definitely worth it. For It'll definitely hold rack. its money. Like you know, hold yeah, its value as well. Illegal combo racks, like the, like five grand. Like sometimes, and like you know, the ghost combo racks, they have ridiculous prices as well. This is the best value for money you're gonna get in a combo rack, hands down, hands down. Uh, we've put a little like coat hanger thing up here. Basically, literally just a coat hanger thing from a uh, screw fix or wherever it was. was yeah. It screw fix? Yeah. Oh, wait, and there. Uh, it's like ten pound for a. For the thing, and we're just basically screwing it at the wall, um, and we're going to use well, we're, we're using it now for to hold all our belts, resistant bands, and all that stuff on. 
The main thing is storage, isn't it? Yeah, literally just because we're up like shitting, putting stuff on the ground and shit, and uh, obviously it was, we haven't got that much space, so what do you like really do? Put a shelf in here, got like a few bits in here, like bands and like slingshot and like, I'm not really sure what's in here, like wrist wraps and shit. All were pre warehouse, all 20 flavours of them. Uh, Hopefully we can get sponsored off uh, Applied yeah. Nutrition. If you're watching this, uh, help us out and fund our ABA addiction because it's um, it's very cost effective, but not when you're buying six tubs <laughs> at a time. Uh, we've got the, do we have this? Do no, I don't mind? think we'll put the wiring in. So yeah, so we've set up a little cable. Got the sound system in. Oh, in this house, yeah. The new rock. New rock. Went down to Holly Pool to pick this up. Only problem is again, we've got absolutely no f***ing dumbbells for it. So it's like, just there. Uh, the storage is alright under here, like once we've got, there's one problem that we've got in here. I put like a bit of chum on the roof. When it, when it rains really, really heavily. Which it is a little bit now, raining. Like, it drips, there's a drip that drips right there. So like there's one little leak in the roof, but obviously I'm, like, I'm not going to fix that, it's like too much of a hassle. Um, what else have we got that's new? We've got a gifted a incline bench by Viking Gym uh, in heaven. Obviously they also give us the stand for the uh, plates. So yeah, obviously with it being in lockdown too again, we can have anything for incline. So we've got this incline. I do like incline bench, I like seated and shoulder press, so shout out to that Viking Gym Hibben for giving me this. Fucking best gym in the area, hands down. Brilliant members, brilliant service. It's like one of them gyms where you go in and it's like, you literally feel part of the family because you sit and chat. It's like really, really good gym. Everyone knows each other in the gym, really good gym. If you're in this area, please go to Viking because you will probably become a member because you'll see what I mean. It's like a proper nice, nice community. Um, this was already up here, wasn't it? Yeah, the chalk wall. So this was off. Um, I think I got it for twenty odd pound on eBay. I'll see if I can link this as well. And um, although it came with like loads of rogue chalk, I don't believe it's an actual rogue chalk ball. I no, just I think it. I it's like it. some budget chalk ball, but it's absolutely made. It fits to the wall. Uh, we just bought the, the like the bit of wood that's on the wall and. Um, yeah, it's, it's a chalk ball, what more do you want? The normal ones are quite expensive because they've got the stands. Yeah. It's like just like a fabricated stand, but I think Strength Shops was like 70 quid or something. Really? And then you, it's just a ball. Yeah. Like, oh. So, Another thing I forgot. definitely try and look for stuff like that on the budget. And obviously, because it's on the wall as well, you're saving a lot of space. Something I forgot about that I found on Facebook Marketplace as well. Because obviously we've got like, Really no space in here. A little tiny little mini deadlift jack. Um, Again, they're quite expensive bit of kit. Like this a deadlift. Like, literally twelve quid off Facebook Marketplace. So absolute bargain. That's what you got to do. You got like try and find the little, the very hard to come by now because I got this before lockdown. But like, once it's all over, Christmas is coming up. Everyone's selling the fucking weights because they need to make money. You're gonna get a few steals. So that's what I'm gonna be looking for as well. Just like little, little bits, dumbbells, more plates for the home gym, because I'm going to be training here every now and then, because obviously I like using the combo for my squats, and obviously I've got the calibrated plates, so I'll probably be coming here for like, the odd heavy session. The thing is as well, like, I don't know what other people's opinion is on this, but I honestly don't think, or we don't really think this is going to be the last lockdown. No, definitely And not. considering the prices of equipment on the first lockdown, to then after when people were selling it and then again this time round and then people selling this like you need to like if you're trying to set up a little home setup obviously have we're quite fortunate that we've got this little garage but try and get something where like you can put everything in one place and then god forbid if it happens again you can get everything back out because yeah. I don't think we're out of this yet and to be honest like you're going to be constantly like in the shit when it comes to wanting to train and having nothing and chances are gyms are going to be less and less like they're going to want to give away equipment less and less because i know a few gyms that have had people like take the piss with like not bringing stuff back there's places that have had stuff nicked like people aren't going to want to do it and yeah just obviously try and get the bargains because at the minute like even stuff like plates we can't get dumbbells for a decent price to save our lives now yeah. 
like you've got to get them at the time when they're cheap because otherwise if you wait till now you're all a bit nagged so yeah right moving on um with oh. the little shelf up with all the all the gear and the little shelf this shelf's got a little bit of character a little bit of a fucking hole there a bit of character on this shelf that's it it reminds me of like a homely you know a wooden do you know, do you know what i mean yeah that I mean. homely shelf this is the homely shelf <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's just obviously because we haven't really got anywhere else to hide shit. Yeah, so we just got um, gas lifting straps, uh, gas 10 for 10% off if you want a discount on gas. You got SBD wrist straps, gas wrist straps. It's basically all we use to be honest. Like everything's mostly SBD. I've got my gas belt on the wall, unreal bit of kit this is uh, for like a normal belt. So you can get that. I've got my SBD belt behind it. Jules's. Strength shop one. So, so. Me and Dylan actually both started with these strength shop belts um, back in the day. Yeah. Um, um, what was your what colour was yours? Just black, I think. Was yours black? I had a red one. I'm thinking maybe. Well, we're not 100 percent sure yet. Might put another shelf here for more storage, but like obviously with dumbbells. But I think this will just be the little dumbbell rack in ears. Like if we get like some like six to like 14 kilo dumbbells they'll probably just go on here mm -hmm. like so maybe it won't be too much of a hassle to get them on and off and need some more storage um other things that we want to add uh, we've got some hooks getting made we're gonna drill these hooks to the wall here because obviously i've got that spare shitty barbell that i used during the first lockdown uh, and i've actually i've bought and I've, it's actually been paid for and everything i bought an illegal barbell that i was meant to pick up like to what, next week, I was going to pick it up next week because I was going to be emceeing at the uh, White Lights Media Comp but because that's been cancelled. It's actually been pushed now to fucking May, and I can't actually pick up the barbell until May now. So like, I paid for this illegal barbell and I can't actually use it for another six months. But it was like a really good discounted price, so I'm not going to cancel the order. So we've got an illegal barbell coming, but that's not going to be for ages. Trying to look for a safety squat bar. I've seen a few. Trying to find one that I like, so that will go on the wall as well. So we'll have two normal barbells, safety squat bar, and a legal barbell. And obviously, we're not going to be able to store them. So these hoops, we'll do another little update as well once we've got the hoops. They're just going to go on the wall there. Um, and we'll what else? Are we the going to do? T bar. Oh um, yeah, we're getting a little T bar. Uh, I think they're called like a mine. And we're going to drill that to the wall in one of the corners. Haven't decided. Yeah, maybe it's that size. So basically, it is. Um, so if you've used the T-bar row before, you obviously, like the old school way we used to do it when we first started training, we used to put a bar in the corner of the room and then put plates on it, didn't we? Yeah. But we haven't got enough plates to justify it and the plates will get wrecked, the wall will get wrecked. So we're getting like a, a mine. I'll put a picture on the screen of what I'm on about in case you don't know, but like basically we'll bolt that to the floor, you slide the bar in and then you've got a bit of support on the opposite side of the bar to what your plates are on. Um, and it's just like, you don't want to buy machines because when I'm got, got yeah. space for machines, that multi machine is absolutely sick. Um, but it's trying to get as much use out of the bar without having to do just like deadlifts, RDLs, squats, um, and bench. So yeah, the this little machine though is absolutely mint. You, like Dylan said, you can do absolutely all sorts on it: leg extensions, lat pull down, curls. And the thing is as well, like it's pretty good. Like we, it doesn't look like you've got enough weight there, but we, I don't think I've used more than three stacks yet. Nah, like it's, it's heavy as out. It's not heavy. It's because it was in the granddad's shed for so long that it's so stiff and like rickety and rusty that like it's like doubled the weight of each thing. Yeah, so, like, the resistance is the resistance. more than the weight. And it's really good as well because when you get to like halfway down, the resistance picks up. So it's like. At the bottom, you've got like extra resistance, so it's like it's like as if it's like specialty. So like we are like I'm thankful for this. Like it actually is like yeah. really good. Um, one little thing is like if anyone can think of it, the, like the one person who watches these videos, if you know of anything that can like save space, that we can like use to like or maybe drill something in the wall and fold it up and like fold it down and we can use it for this fucking machine. If you can think of any ideas, please like leave some like a comment because we do read them all. Yeah. I think I think we've actually re we've replied to every single comment on all our videos. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so that's the thing. Uh, we just I want to try and get more shit done in here, but like I'm not sure what else I can do with the space because like we're really running out of space now. Yeah. 
Tony. The lights were pretty good. They went really well. Yeah. I don't know if we even video putting them up. So we originally bought this little tiny light strip, which is in the middle beam. Um, oh my God, it made no difference. So then, and that works off like a USB connection. And then, which is this in. And then I bought these ones off Amazon, which run off a three pin plug. And they are like so much brighter. You can even tell in the video how much brighter they are. So don't, if you want an indoor light and don't buy the USB ones, because they're just shite. Okay. You don't get proper lighting off them. Um, yeah. I think that is about it, obviously. We've, we've, it's came on a lot. It's came on oh, a lot. Yeah. I love the gym light. The only thing is, obviously, you always wish you just had more space, don't you? Yeah. If we just, even if we just had like an extra meter one side, you'd be able to do so much more. Yeah. And it, like, but like, we're well, saying that the rain's not too bad. We've got this back lane that we could use for like walk and lunges and shit. Like, yeah. Like I've been that. doing overhead pressing, military pressing out there. We just need a set of uh, really, really. I'm just want to get the cheapest ones I can find. Just some ten kilo bumper plates, just for like doing shit like that and obviously like if you want to do some bent over rows like jules who trains like obviously 70 kilos a bit to every first you need like whatever but yeah uh what else do we want anything else can you think um, i think that might no, be no just dumbbells is the main one like dumbbells. dumbbells is the main one yeah that is it then that is the update for now i think a few bits to add that we can progress on for the time being what would, you, what would your number one tip be to someone trying to set up something like this? Obviously we had a nightmare with the floor and everything. But like... Well, try, a garage gym, trying to set up a garage Just gym. a home, like a home setup if they've got a garage or something like that. Oh, just do it. Just like, just do it. Just don't think, oh, should I fucking just, just... Start doing it and then you'll fucking definitely... If you love, obviously, training people who watch your videos do, you're definitely going to appreciate having your own space. Especially if it's powerlifting and you can afford to get like... A combo and like get a decent bar and some like it, even if they're not rogue whatever plates you can get because it it will help you training as well if you train on un uncalibrated plates in a weight bar definitely get somewhere you can use we did jump head first into it like we you got the keys and then we just literally that day yeah. we just thought we're just gonna do it don't we? yeah just even even the likes of the um the floor which was a nightmare we knew we could get it cemented and we just that that literally we decided that day we we're going to cement it and then the next week we we'll had a mixer and cement and ballast and everything and like in and we're just doing it you like dylan said like is it easy no has it been a bit of a ball like yes but is it worth it now 100 percent. and like i said because i don't think this is going to be the last time i definitely if you haven't started already start with what you've got and build an area and then add to it because we it's took us f was six seven months yeah. to get it to the point it's at now um and just we're, we're very like lucky we have got it con constantly check facebook marketplace for like dumbbell racks and like little bits that you think you might need like i say i got that jack for t 12 quid i'm sure i only paid 20 quid for this dumbbell rack and i can see on on facebook marketplace now like people want 100 pound for them so like ebay isn't that good because things still go for decent prices on ebay but face more place people that are just trying to get rid of the shit that are in their like house they're like oh yeah 20 quid for that yeah whatever fucking 12 quid for this bits you can get little bits these attachments i got for basically fuck all on the last like on the last lockdown so yeah that's it just search face and marketplace for what you need if you want to get it on the cheap so i'm doing that's what the majority of people are doing and uh you'll get like a decent setup together if you can so yeah that's it i think Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped out, like at least a little bit, um, and give you a couple of ideas for your own little home setup. If there's any questions, anything that you may be able to help us with, like I don't know, you might have some shit lying about that you want to get rid of. Stop training. <laughs> I doubt it. But if you've got anything that you think might help us, drop it down below. If you need any help, drop it down below. All our links are down below. The gym has its own Instagram page now, West Park Barbell. So we're gonna start. We are posting stuff on that um, just for the crack, really. But if you want to follow that, that'll be down below as well. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Oh my God.